Tonight, we wrap up week three with a good Monday nighter here between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Lions team as they interplay. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. The teeter. On first down, they'll start out with Akers. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play and second down. Now this defense for the Bengals, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. On second and nine. Should be an impactful play because if you get those pass rushers second guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. To throw is Stafford. They'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And he is going to have a Rams first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. And we've got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. On first down, Stafford here. Now that'll be caught by Cup. Calling a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. That catch, by the way, number 542 in his NFL career, that draws him level with Lance Allworth, who was a Hall of Famer with the Chargers back in the 60s and 70s. Yeah, the man they call Bambi. So if you're in that type of territory, catch the same number of passes he caught, you know you're on your way to a big-time career. And just think, he's not through yet. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield. They had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Stafford. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. This looks like a roughing call. Oh, they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. Stafford looks to throw again. Over the middle, complete to the tight end, Higby. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Now it's Stafford. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But it looked like a Rams player was able to get his hands on it. Yes, so they will hold. All the day. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely, as one of the better coaches in the league always tells me. On offense, I want their body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And we've got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Throwing again on second down. Stafford. Now he'll escape to his left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. 
They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Had to get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. And able to find Higby. It's complete. Touchdown, Rams. Play action now. Burrow rolling to his left. Man open. That's Jamar Chase complete. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive. Good for 15 and a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Here we go. They'll run for the first time with Kareem Hunt. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Here we go. Come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, now Burrow. He finds his man complete. It's Jordan. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of five as they move the sticks. The Bengals at 2 0 here to begin the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back to back victories, CD. And I thought they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Play action. It's Burrow. Gets this into the hands of Samaj P. Ron. He's got room at the 30. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. A big play that time on the catch and run. 38 yards. Well, not many teams use the fullback in the passing game. Heck, not many teams use a fullback anymore in the NFL. And even with those that do, you don't typically see a lot of big plays when the ball is thrown to him. In this case, it exceeded expectations. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. So no gain on the play, and that'll make it second and goal. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quicker. Second and goal. Burrow. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jordan. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Six nothing, our score after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. Here we go. And he'll take this one down inside the five to the three. It's about a three-yard pickup there, but more importantly, they're still a few yards away here. It's now fourth down and goal. But let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion go, plays. Because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. 
That spot in the field, call one of those and go get six. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. And that's a touchdown, but hold on. There is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. Holding offense. That's on the guard, Alex. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Back to throw. Stafford. That's into the hands of Akers complete. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. It'll be a first down for the Rams there on a pickup of 18. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. And that one complete downfield to Cup. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. That's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, a Stafford's throw pulled in by Hopkins. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 15 yards down to the 15 and a first down. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And running room scares here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Now Stafford. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. You Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them. Ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all, and it'll be second and ten. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now it's Burrow. He's going to have the hook up here to chase. And that's good for a pickup of ten yards. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. Burrow looking to pass. He gets this one to Boyd. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. Here we go. Now Burrow on first down. That's caught one more time by Boyd. 
Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. First down, Cincinnati. Here we go. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Jordan. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Again, it's Burrow. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Aaron Donald able to record his fifth sack of the season. They've got one up over 30 yards of tail so far, but a sack knocks him backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. They snapped that at one. Now it's Burrow. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. It's on the ball. They start on the ground, and he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. No gain on the play there. Second down. So we are at halftime, but no break needed. Let's get back to it. Week three, here we go with quarter three. And we welcome you back live now. He completes it. And he is going to have the Bengals first down by a couple of yards. Is that... They're on third and two. First down, Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and ten. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. On first down, it's McLaughlin. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. And he'll be tackled at the 45 following a gain of just two. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Here we go. Here we 
Burrow. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. Hunt will try going up the middle. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. Here we go, here we go. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left them no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. First down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 21. A really nice game of 25 yards. And this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield and break one off. But a nice game there for a first down. The last run got a couple. here, second and eight. Here's Burrow, and he'll spot Higgins open left side. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Burrow throw. Got a man open. It's Chase. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. A good pickup there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit. A lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Third and goal, Burrow. Open man is Higgins, and he's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. A great... And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Stafford. This is caught by Robinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards is the pickup there, and a first down for L.A. Stafford throwing for his running back and he's got him complete the result only four yards there on the play and that's going to bring up second down four yards on the pickup second down six at the 
And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he'll be brought down, but a tip of the cap on the spin move as that gives him a first down. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. Zip a lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first down, they'll stay with Akers on the ground. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it. He just couldn't stay in bounds. The Rams on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is going to be third and 13. Stafford now to throw. To the right side and complete to Jefferson. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, we're going to sell the go. Just go. Well, let's see who's faster. So here are the Bengals set to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. So he needed the short yard as Charles he elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. Flush, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Aaron Donald. Able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. If they're able to come back to tie or win this game, I think this is a play that we're going to look back on as the game changer. They really changed the tone and what the opposition wanted to do when they're trying to run some time off the clock and add to its lead late in this contest. Throwing on second and long. Burrow. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Here we go. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. go deep for Higgins and that would be incomplete <laughs> now a first down throw Stafford connecting with Cup here on the out route and he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. Here's a run with, oh no, he lost the football. And the Bengals grab it. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. They may have the edge on the scoreboard, but that hasn't made them pass it, has it? I mean, they've, they dialed up a pretty good run blitz there. And, there and, and Brandon, you know that all blitzes aren't just designed to get to the quarterback in the pass. Or sometimes you're just trying to take away every gap, every hole that might be created in the running game. 
and they did it to perfection and caused a fumble there. Took away the gaps, took away the hole. And you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. So a nightmare start to the drive as they're already staring at second and long. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Being chased out left. He completes it to Boyd. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Now it's Burrow. He f oh, no, he lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. Stafford completes this to Jefferson and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight second and two clock continuing to roll as the Rams try to get going again man open is Robinson they'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds back to back good plays have him on the move on first down now Stafford complete. Oh no, he lost the football. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13, down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Stafford barking out signals and trying to get his guys set quickly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Daxton Hill picks it off, and the Bengals are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout. And they come up with the interception in the end zone. He gets this one to Boyd. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout. Their second as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. like he'll throw here and the Rams got him they bring him down now the defense will burn their third and final timeout and as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines we take a break here we go so now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack work to be done throwing now is Joe Burrow Throw right side, caught by O.J. Howard. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Now it's Burrow. Open man, it's complete to Higgins. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. Here we go. Here we 
go with Burrow. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. I see a surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. Throwing again on second and ten. Burrow. This is caught. It's Boyd. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 24-yard line. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. Well, on one side of this, Charles, an impressive victory. On the other, I mean, you think about it, they scored in the first quarter, but then they didn't.